It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a collaboration beer between two breweries. It's Verdant and North Brewing Company and it's a can of their licensed payers India Pale Ale at 6.5% ABV. The hops in the beer are Equinox, Cascade, Citra, Simcoe and Mosaic. Doesn't that sound like a tropical party? Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Woo! Look at this for a haze bomb. Look at this for a hazy beer. I'm getting rather excited by this. One finger white head, hazy as you like. Look at this. And from here, from this distance, this this distance, about a foot, I'm smelling the most wonderful tropical fruits coming from this beer. Grapefruit, mango, pineapple, fleshy blood orange. Oh, it smells incredible. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ah, oh, boom! Boom! Stone the crows! Stone the crows! What a fantastic, fantastic beer! Let me be perfectly honest with you guys, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've grabbed hold of one of these, these tropical, sensational IPAs from Verdant. Um, they are kicking it at the moment, absolutely kicking it. Probably, almost, most definitely, the most talked about brewery in the UK, without a shadow of a doubt. These people are producing IPAs to die for, really to die for. It's it's just full on citrus, easy drinking, touch of spice. Oh, it's just let's yeah, it's stone the crows, stone the crows. Here we go again. Grapefruit, mango, fleshy blood orange, orange, touch of pine, touch of bitterness. IPAs have changed. IPAs have gone from being incredibly bitter to incredibly flavoursome. Really massive on the aromas, massive on the flavour and just a touch just a sprinkling of bitterness on the back end. At first, it took me a while to get over it. I was, I used to mourn the, the fact that these IPAs stopped becoming really bitter and that the trend changed to this new world fruit bowl flavor of hops. And it's not, it's not real fruit, it's, it, it fakes being real fruit. I've had a few of these real fruit IPAs and although they're very good, it's not quite, or it's no, actually nowhere near as good as this almost fake grapefruit. This, this, this fake orange, this, this fake lemon that we're getting from the hops that have been crammed into this beer. It took me a while, it really did, but I'm now loving, loving this style of beer. Look at it, it's glowing, it's luminous. <clears throat> 
license payers. What what does this mean? What does this mean? There's obviously a message here. Is the message please lower the bloody tax on beer because it's stupid? Um, or is this a tribute to pub owners, landlords, that type of thing? Who knows? All I know is this bit is incredible. Absolutely incredible. It's been a while. I've been reviewing a lot of uh, recently Oktoberfest beers, um, beers from Belgium and Spain and, and Norway and although they've been fantastic, I've for some reason or other I've not had the chance to drink one of these fantastic New World IPAs for probably a month and that's a long time for me. I must make more of an effort, must make more of an effort. Rating License Payers, Verdant and North Brewing Company, here we go, 6.5% ABV. I like this beer enough to give it a smacking 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.